Hello guys, me Carl Santa, take a happy car 95 and I'm gonna do a revisit video about why Haley Deegan will secede over Danica Patrick. So as you can tell, I pulled up a uh, a, a website called Racing Reference on Info showing how Haley Deegan has really seceded and how she progressed as far as her days in Kane and West I believe and then Arc and Menard series. So I'm not going to talk about this two series below, as far as the NASCAR trucks are concerned. So let's get started. So in the first race she competed was in Daytona, and you know that she had a fast engine, started knife, ran well, and basically was in the top fifteen all day. Until she got bumped by somebody and she just didn't, well, I wouldn't say didn't do well, but that's what happens when you crash in the back straight away with your front bumper and you lose all the aerodynamics. So, she finished 24, which is, yeah, sustainable as far as the crash was concerned. So, so... Let's go to race two. Daytona Road Course. In my opinion, this was the worst race. I mean the worst race ever that she's ever run so far this season. She started twenty third and she was never a factor. All running around Dawson Cram, Spencer Boyd for as examples of how weak the those truck entries are, you know. They usually run top 25 and top 30, but while Haley Deegan, she's, ex she's expected to run in the top 15 every single time when she's had some laps under her, and, and then I think in the green white tracker restart, she did have, or let's see, I'm trying to remember. She did some uh, two tires, I believe, at the end of the race. Or, I'm not so sure, fuel only. I can't remember. But, as far as, if it was two tires, she would have been running in 10th or 11th at the time. But, once again, she got wrecked again. And, it wasn't like she had a DNF. Like you see in the screen, but yeah, that's why she really, really struggled in that race and was very far behind ever since, you know. And that's what happens when you take that gamble and you crash. So. And then race three, Las Vegas Motor Speedway started 30th. Once again, this is her first mile and a half racetrack, and she did okay. I don't know where she ran most of the day, but I think top 20 or 20 through 25th, I believe. And then, and then when Ralphie Lasardi got hooked by, I believe, David Gilliland, I will not, I don't think David Gilliland would run it race but whatever there was this random driver that hooked Raphael Lassard and then and then once Haley Deegan saw the wreck she crashed and man it really hurt her chances so she finished 28th so and then the fourth race of the season Atlanta Motor Speedway started 28th and she eventually mm, this was one of her weaker races this season and I think she lost a lap and well this was one of the first races where she didn't get into a wreck and then yeah I think she was riding around logging laps, learning the racetrack, and 
Defensively, she finished 21st, so not much to say there. And then her the fifth race, which is the Bristol Dirt Track, she she had a strong showing, you know. Started 22nd and ran around 15th to 20th all day, and eventually she came in there unscathed, and she could have gone ran ran better and finished 19th. So, and as you look on the right, far right. You see her point standings, which is 20th. And then the sixth race, Richmond Race Ray, started 14th, which is one of her best qualifying runs since they used a, a formula for the way to qualify, which is a metric formula. So I don't know anything about that, but she ran around where she started. And then the only thing she did was put Tate Fogelman in the wall and Fogelman didn't like her move. So she, he kind of used his right hand and put a uh, her point finger on his brain and said, Hey Haley, use your head or else I'm going to go after you. So, and then... Then I think she wrecked some more, but otherwise she finished seventeenth. So, so as you see these finishes, she keeps being on the lead lap two consecutive weekend race weekends. So that's a bright sign for her that she's keeping the car out of trouble, not getting into the DNFs, and that's what she has to do. So, so but unlike Danica Patrick, D De Deegan. She has a knack for finishing races and not making silly, stupid mistakes out there where competitors will not like her and they may tend to hook her to the wall. In which I say Haley Deegan's been doing that quite well. Just getting out of trouble. So let's move on. Kansas Speedway, the best race she's ever had. She started 20th. She got up there in top 10, I believe. Stage 1, I believe. She got a stage point. Stage 2, she almost got one. And basically, she's really got this truck hooked up. And in one of the green, longest green flag pit stops of the race, she did pass Austin Hill for, like, I don't know, somewhere in the top 10. And then... She got as high as seven for eighth, I believe, and and then when the caution came out, uh, she felt like a rock. It's because she doesn't have experience up there in front, and all the competitive cars eat him, eat her up, and she finished like thirteenth, so, which is okay. But I probably believe Haley Digging can would have done all right if Green Fly pit stops were run until the trucker flag so and then the eighth race of the season Darlington Raceway so 10th place one of the best qualifying efforts other than Daytona and then once she started in 10th she felt like a rock I mean I looked at my NASCAR app and I realized she was all the way back to 20th and I realize she's going to have a bad race again because she's not used to being able to run that outside wall and realize, oh, do I have to run the outside wall and realize I have to be in the inside, run the lower line, I believe. It's like, oh, you have high pink corners. You have a uh, dotted and white lines right there and it's a narrow track and I don't want to get the... Darlington Stripes, so. And then there was the big wreck, and Haley Deegan couldn't avoid it, and basically just ruined her night, basically, but she continued on, and right when the white flag came out, Todd Gillen just uh, hooked the left on Haley Deegan's right front, 
fender and and Deegan's night was over. She had a lot of damage, but still she was able to finish the race to finish 20th. So, and then if you look at the right side, you'll see that she's 15th in points, which is all right. But to get to the playoffs, she, she has to be 10 far above. So that's all I have to say. So I'm AK Apicaro95. Y'all have a great day and peace out.